Hi, I'm Kirby Allison, and we love helping the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. In today's video, I'm gonna discuss Gationa and Gerling's Deco collection of Benchmade shoes. If you have any questions or comments during this video, please ask them in the comments section below. I enjoy getting back to all those comments personally. Gationa and Gerling was founded in 2006 by Tony Gatiano and Dean Gerling. Tony and Dean worked for a variety of bespoke makers, designers, and Northampton manufacturers before coming together to launch Gatione and Girling. Their aim was simple, to update the otherwise classic aesthetic of English shoes and bring an unprecedented level of handwork to their bench-made shoes. Gatione and Girling created the Deco line to pay homage to the iconic designs of the 1920s and 1930s. Most of the classic footwear that we see today is based off the rounder, fuller design of the 40s, 50s, and 60s, but the 1920s had some absolutely incredible, sleek, sharp aesthetics. The Deco line was designed to showcase the exceptional craftsmanship coming out of the Gassiano company, and they really do an absolutely fantastic job of that. As you can see, the designs of the Deco range of shoes are very sharp, sleek, and sculpted. The last were designed with the fairly chiseled toe while balancing the edgy style of the Art Deco period with today's tastes. The entire Deco range is made to order, allowing for an extensive degree of customization. Each pair comes with a fully lasted premium Deco shoe tree, uh, along with a handmade box. The cost of these shoes is about 1,400 pounds, which is approximately $2,000, and that compares to the standard price uh, of their ready-to-wear range of 850 pounds, which is about $1,200. It's certainly significantly more expensive than their standard collection of shoes, but the Deco shoes feature an unprecedented amount of bespoke handwork that you would otherwise not find in a standard ready-to-wear shoe. For someone looking for a more fashion-forward, exceptionally well-made, ready-to-wear shoe, the Deco range from Gatsyan on Girling is certainly worth checking out. I'm excited to have seven different models here today that Gatsyano sent us to show you in this video. Outside of Gatsyan on Girling's store on Savile Row, there's no other place that has these seven models of the Deco range together. They're extremely rare, and you won't find them at any retail stores here in the United States. The first model I have is the Flynn. The Flynn is an absolutely beautiful elastic sided hole cut with a brogued medallion on the toe. It is an incredibly sleek shoe uh, that is shown here in a mahogany finish and it features the square version of their chiseled deco toe. Next we have uh, the Rogers model uh, which is shown here in an antique steel two-eyed derby. Now this is an incredibly dandy shoe it's an imitation cap toe because the cap uh, actually isn't an additional piece of leather. Instead, the broguing is uh, punched into the upper itself to create the appearance of a cap toe. This features the square toe, uh, and you can see it's a beautiful showcase of the beautifully sculpted heel and silhouette uh, that you see with the Deco range. Now this particular shoe, again, isn't something that you would find commonly ready to wear, uh, which really is part of the whole entire Deco range, being able to find models and styles that traditionally would only be available via bespoke. The heels on all of the Deco shoes are an eighth of an inch taller than your standard heel, like what you would find in a pair of Allen Edmonds, which just further elevates the sleek silhouette of the shoe itself. Next, we have another hole cut. Uh, this is a traditional hole cut uh, with no broguing at all. A very sleek shoe shown here in a dark brown. In black, this would be an incredible evening shoe. This is the Dim C, uh, and you can see that this has the rounded version of the Deco toe. It's still quite pointed, but is slightly more rounded than the square one. It's a beautiful example of Gaziano's attention to detail, not just in the craftsmanship, uh, but in the design of these shoes themselves. Next, we have a cap toe Oxford uh, that's called the Cliff, and uh, this is a very traditional cap toe Oxford, uh, other than the actual design of the Deco last itself. This shoe showcases some of the finishing detail that goes into the Deco range uh, with its antiqued steel finish. Uh, again, an absolutely beautifully crafted heel, and you can see that the inside edge of the hind quarters is taller than the outside edge, 
and it's just one of those bespoke details uh, that really just elevates the uh, elegance uh, and silhouette of the shoe. Here we have the Fairbank uh, and what is a, a Bordeaux or Burgundy. Again, it's uh, similar to a whole cut, but it's not because you can actually see it's a two-piece pattern. Uh, and it's got uh, the deco uh, broguing or medallion on the front of the shoe uh, and the elastic sides. This style of ankle boot would have been common in the 1920s or 30s. Next, we have the Bates Casual and an absolutely beautiful green. Now this shoe, uh, particularly in this particular color, uh, is something that requires a bit of confidence to wear, uh, but is incredibly elegant uh, and uh, you know, really quite dapper. Uh, again, it features uh, the deco medallion on the front uh, and is a beautiful kind of hole cut design. Uh, and again, it's just a great example of, um, you know, of taking what would otherwise be uh, a rather ordinary loafer and with the correct design work, uh, creates an absolutely elegant, beautiful shoe. Next, we have uh, the Deco Urban Commando Boot. Now, this is certainly one of the most interesting styles that they sent us. Uh, you can see it has the rubber commando sole, uh, but otherwise is a, a Capto Derby uh, with its open lacing. This type of shoe, especially with the commando sole, would be great uh, for someone that's walking in the snow uh, with a little bit of the Supra Nova. Uh, you could really waterproof this upper quite effectively, uh, and the sole is gonna prevent any damage to the shoe uh, by the elements. And it would also be an incredible shoe for country pursuits such as shooting or hiking. You can view the full range of Deco models on Gaziano and Girling's website. The Art Deco collection that you see here is really meant to be the pinnacle representation of the essence of the Gaziano brand. Incredible craftsmanship with a forward-thinking design. Tony and Dean designed the Deco range to really showcase the level of craftsmanship that their factory was capable of. And they really wanted to integrate as many bespoke elements into these factory-made shoes as possible. The finishing of these shoes are absolutely superb and as close to bespoke finish as you can find without paying twice as much money. Now, two of the specific elements that I wanna draw your attention to are one, the incredibly tight and sculpted waist. This requires an incredible amount of handwork in order to uh, sculpt this waist and stitch it in such a way that you don't see any of the welt stitching on the edge. This has to be trimmed completely by hand uh, and this, again, is completely sculpted by hand to create a waist that whenever you're wearing the shoe, all but completely disappears. Furthermore, the edges are trimmed incredibly close to the uppers. Now that's important because again, it just creates added elegance and sleekness and you don't see the welt sticking out of the edge in a clunky and elegant manner. Of course, uh, all of the weld stitching is channeled, which means that they cut a portion of the outsole, peel it back, stitch the weld, and then glue that, uh, that piece of leather back down so that whenever you're looking at the sole of the shoe, you don't see any stitching at all. It's the same oak bark tanned outsole uh, that Gaziano uses in their bespoke shoes, albeit with a little less work in the process of uh, preparing the sole itself. One of the things that many people don't realize is that an incredible amount of work goes into actually pounding the outsole of a bespoke shoe with a hammer while it's wet in order to further compress the pore structure uh, to create a sole that has even uh, enhanced durability over an already incredible outsole. Another element of craftsmanship that you'll find in the Gaziano Deco range is that the edges are not only dyed, uh, but they're also hand finished with wax in order to give them a nice shine. Now normally in a ready-to-wear factory, you would see a sole treatment being applied that is a combination of dye and finishing agent to give it that shine. But here it's being done in a two-step process. Step one, it's dyed. And step two, waxes are applied that are then ironed and polished. So then waxes are applied and a hot iron is used to melt those waxes into the uh, edge itself uh, before being polished to a nice high shine. The effect is an edge and heel that is impeccably finished. You can see that the heels in and of themselves receive an incredible amount of tension, and you can just look and see how closely these are trimmed to the uppers. You don't have them uh, expanding beyond the upper 
with much margin, uh, and it creates just an incredibly crafted, sculpted heel uh, that has a slight pitch to it and is about an eighth of an inch taller than what you would find from a normal heel. Another characteristic of a bespoke shoe that Gaziano integrates into their deco range is that the hard counter extends all the way past the heel to the ball of the foot itself. Now this is very important and something that you would normally only find in a bespoke shoe. Uh, and what it does uh, is it reinforces the sides of the shoe to provide additional support. They do this by adding an additional piece of hard leather in between the upper and the lining. Uh, and this creates an incredible amount of support that creates an exceptionally comfortable shoe. Normally this is something you would only find in bespoke uh, and to see it in a ready to wear shoe uh, is really quite rare. You can see me right here applying quite a bit of pressure uh, to the sides of the shoe and you can see how exceptionally well reinforced uh, this area of the shoe is. Now you compare that to right here where it's not hard countered you can really see that it creates quite a bit of difference in the level of support. And of course, as with Gaziano's entire collection of shoes and certainly of uh, what you would expect with any shoe at this price point, uh, all of the leather used is sourced from only the highest grade of calfskin. And since all of these shoes are made to order, uh, you can have any pair made in any of Gaziano's finishes, and especially with some of the more interesting ones, all of these finishes are hand applied at the Gaziano factory uh, as opposed to being uh, dyed at the tannery. The quality and the craftsmanship showcased in this deco collection of shoes from Gaziano and Gerling absolutely exemplifies everything that we're so passionate here at the Hangar Project. The deco collection is perfect for someone who's just not quite ready to pull the trigger on a four to six thousand dollar pair of bespoke shoes, yet still wants something that is very fashion forward and quite edgy in the design itself, while retaining many of the qualities of the bespoke shoe. Uh, we really appreciate Tony and Dean sending us these shoes, and we really appreciate being able to share them with you today. Stay tuned to our channel for additional videos that we'll be publishing about Gaziano and Gerling, uh, and we actually have some footage from inside their factory that we'll be sharing here soon. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed in this video today, uh, please ask them in the comments section below. I enjoy getting back to all those comments personally. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you know whenever we release new videos. And of course, please visit hangarproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you're there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed take care of their wardrobes. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.